fantastic. Hi everybody, it's PJ and I spared you me destroying this me destroying this box. <laughs> You guys must get so tired of me destroying boxes online. Okay, so I saw these lovely LA Splash lipsticks. They're actually liquid lipsticks, and they were so beautiful, I just couldn't help it. Now, they have these, um, they're doing the Wicked Divine. These are the Disney they're all named villains from Disney uh, movies. So I thought that was so cool. And then I got just two other ones. So I wanted to go ahead and swatch them and show you what I got. Okay, this is what comes in the package. It's, uh, these are liquid velvet lips. And I love the top, it's like a chrome pink really pretty I love the packaging and this is like frosted glass LA splash and then they come in these little boxes that look like quilts and diamonds you know what I mean so cute well this color is called um, red velvet and there it is and I just think that's beautiful it's like a rosy my goodness, what color is that? It's not like muted at all, but it's like a creamy rose color. Really pretty, great for the fall. Love it, love it, love it. The next one is also a velvet matte, and that's what they are. These are the velvet matte lipsticks, which I love, the NYX ones. I've never tried LA Splashes. This is my first time, but again, it comes in this box with this cute little quilting. And this one looks like this. And of course, it's a darkie for the um, fall because that's why I'm getting these. Don't mind my horrible nails. I'm redoing them today. But this is for the fall. And this is um, called Mistress. And here is the color of Mistress. It's like a cherry. It's like a... It's like a black cherry, only it's got a little purple hue to it, too. So I think that'll look really good in the fall, like fall leaves, right? These are the Disney-inspired, and these just say that they're liquid lipsticks. They are matte, but I don't know if they're like the velvet texture. And this is Ursula. So let's take a look at, there you go, Ursula. Let's take a look at what they think Ursula would look like in a lipstick. Wow, look at this. Okay, so first off, the packaging is fabulous. It's got a jeweled top. It looks like an evil queen's crown. It's a matte black, and then look at this. And then it kind of like fades into the color. Oh my goodness, that is just so luck. That is bougie. Hold on, let's look at the color. Oh, I hope it's, and just so you can see, this is the doe foot applicator. It does have a circle to, in the center that houses like the lipstick, which I really like. Sometimes when they put that little hole in the center, you get more in one swipe than you would without, cause it collects there. Let's go ahead and swatch it. That is Ursula. That it's like a red. It's just like a true red. It's not that different from the um, the uh, velvet one. So I'm a little concerned. And it's but it's drying down much quicker. But it is. A, I don't know if you can see. There you go. See the velvet one is the velvet cake is more pink. And the Ursula is definitely a true blue red. Do you know what I mean? It, it's not an orangey red. It's like a blue red. That's drying down really pretty. This packaging is blowing me away. That is so cool looking. Look at that. It reminds me something that like Kat Von D would do, you know? So next is, I don't know um, which Disney, because this is part of the Wicked Collection. This is just called Bloodlust. So I guess they're not all um, 
the actual queens, the actual evil queens, but they are inspired by Disney villains. So this one is called Bloodlust. Let's take a look. Okay, once again, beautiful packaging. You have the jeweled top. It feels heavy. It doesn't feel cheap. It's like the glass on the bottom. It's actually like a plexiglass on the bottom, but again, it fades into the color. Now this is Ursula, and that is Bloodlust. And let's see what the differences are. Hold on. Okay, so Bloodlust. That is like a fuchsia. Here, let me turn on the lights. Okay, so this one's more like a fuchsia pink. But again, they are very similar. I hope I'm not disappointed. Um, they looked much different. Uh, they looked like they had a bigger difference in the... Um, Mm. you really could take okay guys so this is a good lesson learned you really could take um the velvet lip in velvet cake and the ursula they're just not that different i mean a little bit in person the camera's not really picking up that much difference but um, Bloodlust is a fuchsia kind of red. It's a very fuchsia kind of color. And it's not picking up well. Let me go to natural light. Let's see if natural light picks it up better. The difference is, there you go. I think you can see a little better now. It's still, I'm telling you, uh, Velvet Cake and Ursula, uh, Ursula are so similar. And even, yeah. There's not a lot of difference to these three, guys. Okay, guys, this is Ursula on the lips. It is a true red. I mean, it's a cherry, like not cherry. It's a true red, like a, um, almost like a blue red. I really like it, it's very pretty. Okay, now this is Bloodlust, and there isn't, there's a hint more pink in it, but there's no real defined huge difference in them I I see a little more pink to it but they're so similar and this is red velvet and to be honest this is my favorite of the three because the velvet uh, liquid lips it's not so thin a formula the other two liquid lips was very thin formula so I didn't feel like I had the control that I did with this one it's all the same. It's almost the same three colors, only this is a better formula in the velour lips. So don't let the Disney hype get ya. And this guy's is mistress. And I gotta be honest, look, this is I went around it twice. Look how patchy. It keeps getting on my teeth. But look how patchy it is, like up here. And I've done this twice now. Yeah, I'm not happy. I was so in love with the packaging and the thought that this was connected to like those really cool iconic Disney villainesses and it just like really kind of spoke to me in that way but it's not worth the hype I mean it's just not worth it here's the bottom line guys these two and this one are very very similar I mean super similar this one's a little more pinky, but these two are almost identical. Um, LA Splash put this together, and I love the idea of it. Like, I love the idea. I wanted these wicked kind of lipsticks. And also they have, let me show you. Here is, oh no, he's better. Here is the um, alternative. There's their... The good guys kind of thing this is their the princesses but here's the thing it's hype these two the consistency is watery and it is not as good as this one and this one is their velvet lips which was a much better consistency it stayed where it put this was very watery and thin and then this one was patchy as hell so the only one that I got out of it was the velvet cake that I really liked. And, uh, yeah. By the way, these are $11.99. These are $18.99. You get the same amount of product. You just get this. Yeah, not worth it, guys. 
Don't believe the Disney hype. All right. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Look at that. That's just all. God, I should be ashamed. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. A thumbs down if you don't. Either way, got to watch me manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think, believe it. You can have it too. Like, not like <laughs> these Disney inspired wicked evil kind of uh, liquid lipsticks unless you really go for completely different colors the hype online is not the same as when you get them in person they pretty much look the same i love you guys bye